Hey everybody, it's Jeff from New York and I'm here in beautiful Atlantic City in front of the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. Gonna do a slot pull today. It's been a while since I did a slot pull here at the Hard Rock in Atlantic City. Uh, so we're gonna do that today. Before I do that, gonna head upstairs, pick up a beach towel. They're giving away beach towels today. I typically avoid these giveaways because the lines are long and sometimes it's just not worth it, but I really do want this beach towel. And from what I understand, they're collectibles. So gonna do that first and head downstairs to the casino and check out the uh, slots. See which ones we're gonna use for this slot pool today. Well, there's really no line and lots of towels. I got mine. It says Hard Rock Hotel and Casino, Atlantic City. They are collectibles, it seems, these days, like the Hard Rock tins. But I got mine. It's big, thick, and fluffy. I like it. Let's gamble. So for tonight, as far as slot play, uh, my budget is 200 the usual 200 for slots in the night. Uh, I am going to play several slot machines tonight. I'm starting off here with Smoking Hot Stuff Spin Frenzy. Kind of a new spin, if you will, on the old Hot Stuff Little Devil machine that I used to play a lot. Also tonight I'm going to be playing Buffalo Ascension, Heat em Up Power Wheel, Frankenstein, and Shamrock Fortunes. As we start off tonight, I'm going to be spinning the maximum amount per spin. And then, uh, well, as I tend to lose money on these uh, slot pulls, I'll be going lower and lower per spin. And, uh, well, we'll see how the evening turns out. Actually, quite frankly, if you've been following my slot spins lately, I've been doing pretty good. So I'm not going to complain. Well, just a couple minutes into these spins and I've already lost one quarter of my money, or $50. Three bars, that got me a little over $25, that's not bad, but I'm kind of digging the old machine better. I don't know, have you played this new one or have you played the old one? Which one did you like better? I'm, uh, it's the first time I'm playing this one, of course, but I'm kind of digging the old one better. Hey guys, if you're enjoying the videos on the channel, why not subscribe if you haven't done so already and give the video a thumbs up if you're enjoying it. Both really do help the channel out and if you get a chance, share it on your social media. That gets me new viewers and more subscribers. And don't forget, if you'd like to support the channel, then just click on that thanks button right underneath the video you're watching. Doing so will not only help support the channel and make videos like this one possible, but it will get you a shout out in a future video. Thanks again for your support. Well, like I said, tonight I'm going to be playing a couple machines and there really doesn't seem to be much happening here. I mean, I win $25 and then I lose $25 and I win $35 and I lose $35. I'm really not getting anywhere. But I suppose that's better than losing $25 and losing $35 and then losing $25. At least I'm winning every once in a while. And uh, I forgot to tell you guys, this is 10 times free play tonight uh, between the hours I think of 4 and 8. So. I'm racking up some points at the same time. Oh 
Next up here is Buffalo Ascension. I've played Buffaloes before, but not the Ascension machine. I heard about this from a uh, Las Vegas podcast, and I thought I'd give it a try. This Ascension meaning the uh, reels get taller and taller the more uh, successful you are at playing this. And obviously, the taller the wheels get, the more chances you have of winning. Speaking of podcasts, a shout out to the Do For Win guys, the Atlantic City podcast, the only and the best Atlantic City podcast out there. Uh, Kyle and Craig, the two guys that do the podcast, gave me a nice shout out on their recent episode. You can check it out. I'll put a link in the description below. I'll also post it in the uh, community room here on the New York channel. Thank you so much, Kyle and Craig, for keeping me and lots of other people entertained with your podcast about Atlantic City. There is not much going on here. No bonuses. The reels aren't getting taller. There's no ascension whatsoever. I'm getting ready to uh, do it my own descension and move along. When did this happen? Where did all my money go? Alrighty, $65. Let's try a new machine here I've never played before. It's called Heat 'em Up Power Wheel. Let's check it out. As you can see, I'm betting 40 cents, the minimum now. There we go, a power wheel bonus. Again, I've never played this slot before. Let's see what this looks like. So apparently my bonus got me another bonus and that bonus got me four times the spins here which is why the tower is four wheels high I guess you can say. It's starting to make a little sense but I haven't won anything yet. So a whopping 75 cents so far, and I guess you have to land on one of those power ups to advance to the next wheel. Again, I got four wheels, so we'll see what happens.
I don't know, it says big win. Apparently it's got me confused with someone else. I got $7.42. Wasn't expecting much anyway. I'm only betting 40 cents. And while I have your attention, a uh, shout out to Dan Kraft who left a super thanks on my latest NCL or Norwegian Cruise Line video, St. Thomas. Thanks for all you do, Dan. Don't forget guys to check out Dan's fan page, fan New York fan page I should say, on Facebook. There's a link in the description below. It's always there, so make sure you check out that fan page. And once again, Dan, Thanks for your support and for all you do for the New York channel. And I haven't forgotten you, Richard Hales, but your super thanks was on the Jersey Jeff Eats channel, so your uh, shout-out's coming up on there. I've never seen or heard so many bells and whistles on a bonus with such a small payout. Well, that's got to be worth something. Slot Machine 101, Cherry's Bad, Seven's Good. Usually, these wheels always give me the impression that you have an equal chance of winning 60 cents as you do of winning the grand jackpot. Something tells me that's not true though. Well, you can't say this machine's not interactive. It's impossible to fall asleep in front of it. It really keeps you going. was like a 10 minute bonus for $3.66. So yeah, the slot machine is fun and it's very interactive, but it's just getting me nowhere. Time to move on.
This is the new Whitney Houston slot machine bank, and uh, it's got four seats, always taken. Very hard to play this game right now. I'm sure in a couple of weeks, uh, when all the excitement wears down, we'll be able to play it. In the meantime, let's play an old friend of mine. I just love this machine. I find it very entertaining. I won once the first time I played it. I played it a dozen times since then and haven't won since. So uh, I don't know what what makes me come back to this slot machine all the time. But like I said, I just find it entertaining and spellbinding, and maybe that's why I keep coming back. Anyway, eventually I gotta win, right? It's alive! Okay, you slot machine experts out there. If I remember correctly, there used to be, and maybe there still is, a young Frankenstein slot machine. Let me know if you know of one. Leave a comment below. So a moment ago I just won $10 and rather than sitting there watching the pennies add up until it reaches $10, I just push the play button and it puts the $10 automatically onto my account. I don't think that would happen if you won like the super jackpot, like a million dollars. I don't think if you push that button it would go from 50 cents to a million dollars instantly. I think uh, that machine's going to make a lot of noise and bells and whistles and attract everyone's attention. Maybe I'm wrong. I have no idea. But something tells me that machine would go crazy for quite a while. So I've come to learn that the only way the It's Alive feature works and you get that bonus is you have to have some Frankensteins pop up on these reels. The more Frankensteins, the more uh, It's Alive will uh, bonus for you. If you get the It's Alive like I just did with no Frankensteins, well, nothing happens. got a little excited there but then Frankie said relax and if you grew up in the 80s you know exactly what I'm talking about I'll play this a little longer, not much going on here. I think when I get down to $25, my last $25, I'll move on to another machine. Don't know which one yet, but uh, that just probably will be the end. But let's see what happens here.
that's it. Let's find something else. Shamrock Fortunes, I never played this machine before. Actually, the only machine that I've played before tonight is Frankenstein, and while well, that didn't go well, let's see how this one does. Many of you know I was just recently in New Orleans, well, just a couple days ago I came back, and uh, while I was there I did a slot pull at Caesars down in New Orleans, but before I did that, I bought a voodoo doll. Now, I don't take voodoo seriously, and it's really not a real voodoo doll, but it's kind of like a trinket, and uh, it's a little green mummy holding a four-leaf clover. I'm going to post a picture of him in the community room here. Uh, I took that voodoo doll. I've yet to name him. Maybe you guys can make some suggestions for a name, but he's uh, hanging from my camera bag now, so he's going to be with me on all future slot bowls here on the New York Channel hopefully to bring me more luck than I've had in uh, this video, which by the way was shot prior to my New Orleans visit and prior to my getting my new buddy that, again, I don't have a name for. Leave a suggestion for the name below. I picked this machine because of the leprechauns. I'm not Irish, but I do like some Irish things. I like, well, I like U2, and I like uh, the cranberries. I like the Irish pub, which is right up the street here. Uh, my little buddy voodoo doll that I just purchased in New Orleans is green and is holding a four-leaf clover. So that's kind of Irish, right? So why isn't all this Irish luck rubbing off on me with this machine? I'm down to almost zero at this point. Well, that green pot of gold, which is for extra spins, looks like it's about to explode, so that's good news. Okay, the flute's starting to become annoying. Down to my last 10 bucks. Well guys, you can't win them all and I've certainly proved that today. Although again, like I said, I've been pretty lucky with these slot pulls here on the New York channel lately. So you win some, you lose some. And at least I got a nice beach blanket out of the deal today. 
I've been uh, sitting on it at every machine that I've gone to simply because I have no other place to put it. So I've been sitting on my bleach beach blanket and uh, losing today on the slot machines. But tomorrow's another day. More videos coming soon here on the New York channel. Thanks for watching. And if you made it this far, I really do appreciate it. And uh, talk to you guys soon. Well guys, as always, you win some, you lose some. I've been pretty lucky lately, plus my $200. Did a lot of editing and a lot of turning off the camera because I was there for over two and a half hours. So I got a lot of, uh, a lot of play out of my initial investment of $200, plus it was 10 times uh, free play. So hopefully I got some free play racked up on my card and well, We'll see what happens next slot pole. Meanwhile, I'm heading towards the beach. Gonna do a nice beach walk and maybe stop off at some of the uh, beach bars along the way. So another video for another day. Stay tuned, guys. Thanks for watching.